In question 5 of this exercise, the problem statement says, Is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meters and area 400 meters square? If so, find its length and breadth. So we have, we have to figure out whether we can have a rectangular region which has a perimeter of 80 meters and an area of 400 meters square. And if that's possible, we have to find the length and breadth of such a rectangular region. Okay, so let's draw a visual to help us think. So let's suppose that this is the rectangular region and the perimeter of this region is 80 meters. So let's take the one of the dimensions of this rectangular region to be x meters. So let's say that the length of this rectangular region is x meters. Then what will be the breadth in terms of x? Now the perimeter is 80 meters and perimeter is twice the length plus twice the breadth. So if you just add the length and breadth once, it should be equal to 40 meters. So the length plus breadth should be equal to 40 meters because the perimeter is 80 meters. Now if the length itself is x meters, this means that the breadth must be 40 minus x meters because the length plus the breadth has to be 40 meters. So we have specified the length and breadth in terms of a variable x and now in terms of this variable the area of the rectangular region will be the product of these dimensions so the area will be x times 40 minus x meter square and we want this area to be equal to 400 meter square so what we have to check is whether this equation x times 40 minus x whether this expression x times 40 minus x can be equal to 400 for some value of x or not. In other words, for this equation that we have just written, we have to find out whether this equation has real roots or not. So let's do that. So let's first expand the product. So we have x times 40 is 40x. Then x times minus x is minus x square. And then on the right side, we have 400. So let's take all the terms to the right side. So we can write this as x square minus 40x plus 400 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in x and we have to check whether it's whether it has real roots or not. So let's check the discriminant of this equation. So the discriminant, so let's first write the coefficients. So a is 1, the coefficient of x square, b is minus 40, the coefficient of x and c which is the constant term is 400. So the discriminant of this equation is b square, so minus 40 square, so that's 1600, minus 4 into a into c, so 4 into 1 into 400, so that's 1600. So the discriminant is 0. So, the, so because the discriminant is 0, it is not negative, this equation will have real but identical roots. So it will have real but identical roots and now let's write uh, those roots. So the roots will be x equal to minus b. So minus b is plus 40 plus minus root d. So that's 0 because the discriminant is 0 by 2a. So by 2 times uh, 1. So that's 2 or 20. So the two roots are identical and both the roots are 20 and 20. And you could also have figured this out by factorizing this expression. So this expression factorizes as a perfect square. You can actually write this as x minus 20 whole square. So the equation becomes x minus 20 whole square equal to 0 or x is equal to 20 and x is equal to 20. Uh, the, both the roots are identical. So the answer to this question is that yes, it is possible to design such a rectangular park and uh, the dimensions of the rectangular park are x equal to 20. So one of the sides is 20 meters and the second side is 40 minus 20 or 20 meters again. So it's actually a square that makes this possible, a square of side 20 meters. So for a square of side 20 meters, the perimeter will be 80 meters square and the area will be 400 meters square. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.